My name is Ricardo Ruiz, painter, legend. Well, but I, I've been drawing, actively drawing, drawing well since I was like three. And I, it, my parents used to, you know, get a pencil and paper for me and put it in front of my, in front, uh, put me in front of my aunts and uncles when they'd visit just to, so they could watch me draw and just freak them out like I was some kind of bewitched kid. I, I thought I was going to be a, cartoon, a comic book artist, you know, because I, I draw really well. But um, then I took painting and ruined me, ruined me for life. I come from a family of storytellers. My, my dad used to tell stories like, I mean, outrageous lies, you know, but hilarious. Every piece I do has some kind of story attached to it. A lot of the, a lot of the things I started with like that were like legends, local legends, like the Cucuy, La Llorona, because when I was a kid, my, my tia Queta had convinced us that, you know, if, you, if you're out in the monte by yourself, or you're out in the monte, you know, after dark, and you're not home by but before the sun goes down. The Girona's gonna get you, or the Kukui's gonna get you, and he's eat you alive. Uh, and she had a whole va variation of them. She had one was the moon. There, did you do you know the moon will swallow you up, right? What? And then I started making them up myself, just you know, because that's what you do. You know, you you'd make up stories that are relevant to you, relevant to your family, relevant to to the people around you, and hopefully to people beyond. My dad was a butcher. He was a butcher uh, and a funny man. Uh, he was like the Don Rickles of the butcher world, you know, the Mexican Don Rickles. Literally, people would get in. At, we all worked in the market with him to sit there and watch him insult one customer after another. And I mean, they just laugh and laugh and laugh. Um, and then they'd buy a pound of bologna and a pound of, pound of cheese, you know. Chaparro, chinga, chaparro, ya, ya, so And my mom, well, I mean, she stayed at home and raised three horrible, four horrible children. I, I don't count my sister. She was a saint. But, you know, her, the boys, you know, just, I mean, I had I had one brother. I won't say which one, but one time I, I told him, hey, mom said to get up, time to go, you know. And he woke up, grabbed the sheet, and blew his nose on it. You know, what kind of jerk does that? <laughs> Her, Hieronymus Bosch was a Dutch painter, um, and he'd paint these scenes, you know, for, for churches, you know, where they're trying to teach the illiterate people about you know how to behave he would make these paintings up and he'd show like scenes from heaven and scenes from hell juxtaposed and then in the middle there'd be a, a, a picture of christ the savior and then he would invent all these strange beings you know birds you know swallowing people you know and and, and um men with with uh, you know empty chest cavities with people climbing in and out and animals for just odd strangest strangest creatures you know and uh i mean they're fascinating you know, and the fact that he's using that kind of, those kind of icons, those kind of, that kind of imagery to convince you to behave, you know, according to whatever doctrine they want you to, to behave, they're just, like, you gotta love that, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible kind of propaganda. I've been called, you know, a, a Chicano painter, and, and it, well, I'm a Chicano, I mean, there's no doubt about it. But um, what I'm looking, what I'm trying to, to find is that common ground, you know. My, I want people to be able to look at my work and recognize themselves in it. I want people to be able to see the, the painting. And even though it's, you know, the, the scene can be odd, you know, there should be something in there telling you that, you know, I've experienced this too, you know, love, fatherhood, uh, you know, parenthood, death, you know, uh, all those things that, that, uh, that, that make up a life. You know, we all come from different backgrounds, you know, different parts of the world, but the experiences are, are really very much the same, you know? And that's really what, what I want to do. I just want to communicate with other people. You know, I want to tell a story and I want other people to, to, to bring their own stories into it. I mean, I can't tell you how many people look at this painting and have their own interpretation of what it means and why it means that way to them, you know? And it's, it becomes important to them, you know? So that's, that's the, the, really the driving force behind making the work, telling the story that, about our commonality, you know, as opposed to our differences.